Welcome to the Redeem 180 podcast. Uh, this is the podcast where we help you redeem your time on social media. My name's Isaac. And my name's Caleb. <laughs> and welcome, welcome back to the show. We oh, could have yeah. said that in synchronicity. Oh, Pretty that much. Cool. Yeah, we could have. Um, today, we guys, our minds. today we are talking all about uh, social media, obviously, but <laughs> boundaries on social media. When do you know you need to take a break from social media? How do you navigate uh, what social media apps you want to be on? Mm-hmm. How do you spend your time wisely in, okay, like how do you have balance in your life and not just, you know, well, man, I need to pull back on social media. Yeah. These are the questions we are going to be talking about today. So Caleb, to begin us, um, have you ever taken a break from social media? And if so, why? Yeah, no, that's a, that's a really good question. And I mean, thank you. Thank you. I came up with this. <laughs> <I know. laughs> My goodness. Um, anyways, um, I have actually taken a break on social media and it actually has happened quite recently. Um, not with, within the last six months, I'd say, um, I was on social media and I was realizing how basically just how much time um, I was scrolling on it. You know, I, I used to be on, I mean, I, 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 I still am on Instagram and YouTube, but, um, as you guys know, they, Instagram came out with reels, YouTube came out with shorts. And those are two things that are basically just there to get your attention still your and, time. and still your time. And you'll never really be satisfied with it. I, I like, honestly, I was like thinking to myself, I'm like, man, watching a, like a five minute YouTube video is so much more satisfying than scrolling on these reels for 20, 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was just fed up. I was like, I'm not, I'm not doing, uh, um, my book reading that I wanted to do. I wasn't doing as much Bible reading as I wanted to do. I did not, I, I wasn't present in a lot of situations. So I was just like, okay, this is the point where I'm going to just cut it off. So I deleted my, um, YouTube app and I, um, basically removed my Instagram app from my home screen. Um, since I still needed to use Instagram for my work, um, I basically just logged out of my personal account and kept my work account. What, how long did you stay off social media? Like in that way, I would say I was stayed in that way probably for about three weeks. Yeah. And where I would not be on Instagram at all. And then only on YouTube very rarely. Yeah. Yeah. That, 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 I mean, to me, um, so I, I've done that. A little bit, not mm-hmm. so much in the last three years, honestly. Have I taken a break from social media in a real way? Not really. Like I took a break from TikTok for about five days. That mm-hmm. was pretty much the extent of my hiatus off social media. But more recently, honestly, I've been really contemplating whether I need to take a significant break from being on social media. Because similar to how you're talking about reels and YouTube shorts, TikTok is like my go-to time filler. So if I have a little break in between something and something else, like maybe five or 10 minutes or something, I'll be like, well, you know, I might not have time for a full YouTube video, um, but I might have time to just scroll on TikTok and it is so unsatisfying. And, you know, they they talk about the whole uh, slot machine. It was slot machine, like how you pull down um, the app and it it makes you feel it's similar to how people react in gambling scenarios and, and like they pull down the, the, the slot machine to try to get that hit of um, dopamine or whatever that, you know, yeah. and, and so similar to social media, it's like you're constantly swiping, swiping for more, more, more happiness and fulfillment and you never yeah. get it. And so I've been finding recently similar to how you were finding I have not gotten into the books that I want to get into. I've not listened to audiobooks. Today, mm-hmm. I took my first step in stepping away from social media and I read a half a book today. Mm-hmm. Like the book that I was like putting off for so long. And so to me, how, what are the, like the telltale signs that you need to take a break? Well, what are your priorities? I think that's the biggest thing that you need to begin with is what are your actual priorities in your life? And just map those out. Like, Kill, where would you begin with mapping out your priorities? Maybe the sectors of life. Yeah, like, well, you know, what we have to do is we have to look, okay, what what, what should our priorities be? Well, well, you know, if you're a Christian, and, and I, I assume if you're listening to 
redeem 180 that that you're in that direction of being a christian <laughs> sure, yeah. um one of our highest priorities should be a relationship with god the highest uh, the yeah. highest and and it, it should without a doubt that should be your your top, top priority so and and i and i i feel like even for myself um to be honest with you guys there's there's definitely a, a, a inconsistency that i feel like me and i i, I don't want to overgeneralize but most christians have with with realizing okay if god is my first and um uttermost and most important priority he should be what i spend my time on most and honoring him so of course that doesn't mean okay i'm going to be spending eight hours in the bible every day but it does mean you're going to be making that a priority Bible reading, but you're also going to be um, in everything you do, making him a priority. Well, let's talk about that. Uh, interestingly enough, this last week at my church, um, one of our pastors, associate pastors was preaching and he was talking about the fact that if you are a Christian, it seems ridiculous <clears throat> that you would spend the day doing something like watching TV or being on social media, spending more time doing that than prayer, um, you know, meditating God, on God's word, reading mm -hmm. God's word. Mm -hmm. Like, why would we spend more time being on social media than we are being with God? Mm -hmm. And I think pretty much everybody I know has that inconsistency. Pretty much everybody I know spends more time doing useless stuff or spending time fr frivolously than they are spending time with God. And it's not to say that we should never use social media because of course the whole part of the you know, point of our podcast is to help you use the time you do spend on social media and redeem that for God's glory and use it wisely. But it does mean, man, taking a, you know, assessment of your priorities. So you're talking about God. Mm -hmm. Second one, family. Yeah. Are you neglecting family responsibilities? Mm -hmm. You know, I, I, for, for me, I'm a single guy. For me, that looks like, well, how am I neglecting my family? Am I, uh, you know, in service to them? Am I neglecting my siblings? And in social time, I could be reaching out to them and, and spending time with them. You know, yeah. like those are important things. And then from there, it goes like, okay, friends. Yeah. Am I neglecting opportunities to to be in fellowship with one another to speak life into their life um because i'm on social media so much yeah and i mean even if it goes further as friends of just like your church in general mm -hmm. of like being being like okay am i am i like using um my time in a way that honors god and it, that that uh, that is really important for you to invest in your local church and and you know a lot of the time we might we might have the mentality of, oh, you know, even if you have a, have a maybe have a good mentality, let's say, of okay, I want to use this time on social media for for God and and for His glory. I'm going to post about Him, and we're forgetting about the people around us, and mm -hmm. we're forgetting about our church. We're forgetting about our personal relationship with God. We're forgetting about our friends. We're forgetting about our family, and we keep on forgetting these things, and we're trying to put out what we haven't been able to receive in community and in 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 fellowship with one, one another and in our relationship with God personally you know there's there's definitely a place where we need to figure that out first before we can even um understand and and be able to know what to put out and know what, how to take in social media that's so true i i just feel like for me personally i've been battling with this because i put out so much content online and I do that as part of my job. But even even if I didn't, it's like I spend so much time online putting out content. Am I am I making sure that my primary priorities are taken care of? Am I spending so much time like thinking about what I need to offer people in in content and resources and encouragement? Am I neglecting the people in my personal life that might need equally, if not more, probably more, the encouragement, the 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 counsel, the just the friendship that I have mm -hmm. to offer. Mm -hmm. And so finding that balance, understanding your priorities is so essential. I'm all about you finding out how you can use your time on social media for God's glory. You should, but 
first and foremost, you should be figuring out how much time should I even be spending on social media? Is this going to be good for my soul long term if I'm spending literally 180 minutes on social media? When we found out that statistic, it kind of blew both of our yeah. minds. Yeah, that's three whole hours. But at the same time, it's not like it's um, out, uh, out, out, of of the, our... out of our own sphere. Where yeah, exactly. Like, I've spent three hours on social media. Uh, of course, like yeah. and a lot of people have. And so I think one of the first things we need to be understanding is like, what is this doing? to our spiritual health in the mm -hmm. midst of this how is this affecting our relationship with god and our relationship with others and then also looking how is this affecting our own mental health mm -hmm. um and we talked about comparison last week yeah. yeah i think that's a big aspect of it but even just the quick the the quick nature of social media images popping up random things going on your brain in constant overdrive over stimulation mm. there's something to be said that we need to step away from the hurry of social media to actually experience some of the peace and rest that god has to offer yeah no definitely and i think i think that is that is so important to remember of, of just the idea that you know social media we cannot say that like someone would be um very um ignorant if they weren't to say that um social media is a uh, is in a toxic place mm -hmm. we we know that it's a it, it can be a very toxic place and i mean that's what we're wanting to start with you guys is is starting you guys uh taking initiative to using it in a way using it as a tool that that honors God uh, with your consumption and what you're putting out there. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. you know, you guys can do a very small part in, in doing that and the little things that you do post and then little, and, and, and what you do take in. Um, and uh, in a way you can, you can, you can be an influence on, on what people put out because you're, you're basically a vote. And if, if you follow someone, you're basically saying, Hey, I want to see your stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think that can be a really encouragement to someone who is putting out stuff that is God glorifying and but but if you're if you're following people who who don't that could be um, really uh, discouraging and or really uh, hurtful to the platform as a whole in regards to um, how toxic it is. And I think one thing that I, that I really learned from my experience with taking a step back is it's amazing having a reset. Mm. Like just when you take that hard reset and be like, hey, I'm making this decision, not not in a self righteous way. Like I I. This is the first time I've ever really talked about it, and, and I hope this, this encourages you guys, and I don't mean to boast about about me taking that time off social media, but I think what really helps is, is being able to take that time and then come back to it in a slow way, slowly introducing it, so then you're, you're, you're sort of able to break that. Um, I would say as far as uh, saying it's like an addiction almost. Mm, cycle um, of consumption. Cycle of uh, comes consumption. So then we're able to then go at it in a more God-glorifying way. I would encourage you guys. If you, you know, some of you guys might be in already in a place where you're able to take in our, our um, wisdom about how to take in social media and put out social media. But really, if you're in a, a dangerous spot where you're just consuming and you don't really know how to control yourself and how to stop just doing the same cycle that you're doing. It's important to take that step back. And I think that's the, that's the point you have to use your own wisdom, but that's the point where you need to take a step back. One thing that I think is, is just really important to going along with that is just the idea of when you're starting to head back and, and starting to add, to add, to add things back, um, as you sort of re-enter the realm of social media, um, then you're really able to see, uh, what you should be adding back, um, what what people you should be following. Um, it, it gives you a greater perspective of that. And I think that's so important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that's true. Um, one of the things that, that I found helpful is literally just starting from square one. If you're not going to take a break from social media, cool. But I would really encourage you to um, really go through everyone you're following and just say, hey, look, is this person going to be good for my spiritual health, my mental health? Mm -hmm. um, and just ca continually go through that and mm -hmm. kind of a purge in a way. Um, and maybe on a monthly basis, on a, on a quarterly basis, basis you look at all the people all the content mm -hmm. you're consuming and say is this going to be good for me 
overall? Um, what kind of boundaries do I need to set up with what I'm consuming here? Because so often you're just like, you see a funny video, bam, you know, follow, 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 follow. And then that's what's, you know, playing and, in your and, mind. And, and it saves you so much time too. Mm -hmm. I mean, like I remember doing that for my, I, 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 for my YouTube, I like subscribe to like a lot of people. Like I, I did cool video, be interested, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And I, I think it's so great to be able to go through and be like, okay, you know, I, I don't ever watch or even I, when I do watch, it's not fulfilling. And it's not, it's not helpful to my spiritual life, to my, to my mental life. Um, so I'm going to unfollow that and I'm going to take away from that, that. So then, you know, when I do go on social media and then look at my, so the, what the videos that are put out to, to uh, by videos, that, uh, by, by YouTube channels that I'm, uh, subscribed to, um, then I'm able to then, um, be at peace of being like, Hey, you know, these are videos that I have, I've discerned that I've, I've been able to take in and, um, and that I'm able to learn from in a way that is helpful to me. And that's a way that is ultimately a useful time, um, for me to spend. You know, a lot of that discernment takes a knowledge of who you are. Like it takes mm -hmm. some introspection to find out, look, how is this actually impacting my life? you need to take um, things slow and you need to slow down. And I think unfortunately social media feeds into our, our perpetual hurry and feeling like we constantly need to be doing something. Um, it kind of feeds that urge to always be consuming and thinking and, and, and it fills that gap, but, but it's kind of a facade because we're not really accomplishing mm -hmm. anything. Like you, you're watching so many videos, you're, you're not really doing anything particular when in a lot of times we could set some of that aside, you know, time aside to literally just be silent and, and restful and um, mm -hmm. contemplative about who God is and our lives. And, and I think one of the issues is our generation is so lost mm. because they don't spend enough time um, processing God's truth about how they can be found, you know, and how they can find purpose and mm. understand their mission and processing. Who am I? What am I doing? What is my yeah. life about? As opposed to consistently and constantly always feeding back into overconsumption of social media. Yeah. It's just, it, you never fit, like you never have a break when, when you're, when you're at that point with social media, where it just fills up every little nook of cranny of your life. You're, you're never able to take a pause. You're just run, 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 break. I'm, I'm using air quotes for everyone, everyone, <laughs> on the audio, uh, audio version. Audio version. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but you break, basically it's just you continuing to run, just escaping what you have been doing the, the race that you've been running and then you run, run, run. And then another fake break, basically um, it's, it's not helpful and it's not a, a, a way that you want to go at life. And it's not a way that is, is God glorifying in, in really any way uh, imaginable. So similar to how you had set boundaries with in, within a relationship, you need to set boundaries in your consumption of social mm -hmm. media, what you're mm -hmm. taking in and assess your priorities. This might be a great time for you. And, and I know it's been beneficial to me, even in assessing where do my allegiances lie? And then once you do that, you're going to, when you do decide to come back on social media in some form, you're going to be stronger, more discerning and better prepared to be the witness that God wants you to be on social media. Mm -hmm. You're going to be That's ready so to encounter the darkness, the toxicity that you may encounter and, and shed light into it and bring light into it as opposed to being this drained, burnt out, um, person looking for um, acceptance and and entertainment you're going instead of that you're going to be filled with God's truth and his love for you and his acceptance of you and and ready to truly make an impact online and truly redeem um, 180 wow word that's, that's, <laughs> just, that's, that's, okay. that's great right there and I mean I mean the only other point that I want to add in um, is just you know you don't have to be on everything yeah like you don't you don't have to um, where it'd be like, oh man, I have to be on Instagram, YouTube, no. TikTok, Facebook, if anyone's on there still, um, <laughs> Some people like, apparently, <laughs> apparently, um, you can choose 
you can choose what 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 actually don't be ashamed um what actually fits you better maybe maybe tiktok you know you're like man if i just have tiktok then i'm, I'm able to to use it i follow a bunch of guys that are really encouraging mm-hmm. and i'm able to use that or girls of, or girls you know <laughs> um but but you're able to that to, might be your spot right it might be your spot or maybe you find instagram be more your friends are on there so you, you don't really follow anyone else but your friends and and it's just encouraging to see what what they're up to and 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 it's not an issue for you in regards to comparison and things like that maybe instagram's your spot you know we um leave that up for you guys because ultimately a lot of this is wisdom um and mm-hmm. and we could we can't as much as we can give you guys advice we can't necessarily um uh know exactly where you are in life exactly who your friends are, exactly who you would want to follow, exactly your likes, interests. You know, we don't know those. Mm -hmm. Um, But what we can encourage you to do is take a step back and look at what those things are and look at, you know, what social media platform should I be on? Who should I follow? You know, it's not wrong to just totally desert one and be like, hey, you know, this is I, I prefer Instagram. Or well, I, and I think it's not know. just it's important not to spread yourself too thin. You know, you only yeah. got so much time in your life. You only got so much mental energy. Mm-hmm. Don't spread yourself too thin and That's thinking really that point. you need to encounter all the different things that are going on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. You just don't need it. It's not important. And don't you know if you're if you're like, oh man, but I'm gonna feel like I'm missing out. Listen to the last episode. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for listening, guys. Um, we truly appreciate your viewership and partnership in this mission of helping people um, redeem the time they spend on social media so if you have any questions or comments about Mm -hmm. how christians should interact with social media and the different challenges and struggles that we encounter on that let us know we'd love to hear from you Um, and uh, we will see you guys next time be sure to subscribe on all the different platforms youtube if you're on the podcast platform and Check out our audio podcast if you're watching on YouTube right now. Um, We'll see you guys next time. Yeah, see you guys next time. God bless.